Big Z Reviews. The Ark is a new science fiction uh, TV show that's just completing its sex season. And it definitely wasn't amazing, but I enjoyed my time with it. Whatever happened, it knocked us off course. Where's the captain? Everybody that was in charge of running this ship is dead. It all falls to us now. So this was uh, directed by Dean Devlin, and it um, features a whole big cast of characters on this ship. But I'd probably consider like the three leads to be uh, Christy Burke as uh, Sharon Garnett, uh, Reese Ritchie as Spencer Lane, and Richard uh, Fleischman as uh, James Bryce. And there's a bunch of other people too that you follow. And it, like the idea is that this is like a couple like hundred years in the future. And the planet is dying, and essentially they they create a couple like like a uh, fifteen where well, they're in the process of creating a bunch of arcs that have like um, a bunch of genetically diverse um, humans, and then uh, also a bunch of other stuff from their culture and civilization and DNA of other animals, like uh, on this arc, and they're planning to go to explore like the closest Goldilocks planets that they can. And uh, this, your, this one, the arc that our character's on is Arc 1. And they experience some sort of malfunction. And they all wake up from, uh, like, um, hypersleep. And they find that, like, um, they something crash into them and cause a lot of damage. And a bunch of, essentially, all the elite passengers are killed. So, like, the captain and the all the, the main officers are all dead. And you're left with all, like, the underlings that weren't really expected to be in charge. They have to take up the role, the mantle. And they have to figure out how to survive a bunch of different shenanigans that ensue throughout the the episodes of the season. And, like, it's... I like surprised, like, I enjoyed it. Like, it definitely gets a couple times to, a, a bit into too much drama. And I always, it feels like a couple times that... Like when you hear about what 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 the what were the people were like on Earth and how it didn't seem to evolve that much from where we are now, and that and also there's off not too much money on this show, but you can see like the the watches that they wear are like bigger than what we we have now, <laughs> you know, and a lot of the tech that you see it just looks kind of it doesn't look that futuristic. But, you know, you can kind of forgive it and just enjoy the ride a bit. You know, and it, and they, the, definitely the special effects for the spaceship, it doesn't look great, but it's, it's serviceable. And, again, that, like, there is some of the drama, especially towards the end of the season, doesn't quite make sense. There's the whole thing where, like, it's, the idea is kind of cool, where essentially the first, like, couple arcs that were sent out didn't have any sort of tech for them to go like to approach the speed of light like they didn't have they didn't have that available to them but then by the time arc 15 or like, like the uh, you know further along arcs they were they had figured out how to like do hyper speed like how to approach the speed of light so essentially while they've been slowly traveling to this planet for like for years and years it gave time for like humanity to figure things out, so, but then now this other ships maybe doesn't want them doesn't want the earlier ships to mess with their plans. So there's a lot of drama, um, human versus human. I don't understand because unless you want to in introduce a bunch of aliens, you have to have someone be the enemy of the show. But it's like at the same time, it's like you think that they would come together. When they're the last, like the last uh, pieces of humanity, you think you wouldn't want to would want as much genetic diversity as possible instead of like fighting and killing each other. But no, you, the show's got to show, you know, it's got to it's got to have extra drama other than just what's going on in the ship. So I understand, but it gets it, gets, it can get a little annoying at times. And the characters can be a little corny. But at the, at the same time, I, for the most part, really enjoyed it. You know, it's not the best sci-fi show you'll see, but I enjoy a good sci-fi show. And it's, like, it's original. It's not 
part of one of the other main like sci-fi series you have. And I I liked it. You know, it's definitely a sci-fi original, science fiction ori- original. But you watch it on I watch it on Peacock. But um, I you know, I would recommend it. If I give like an eight point two five out of ten, you know, it's a fun science fiction show. You know, a futuristic space traveling show. You know, but uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.